Here we go again. Last time we took the breezy from this terrible mechanic around the map to a full-blown flick. Feels good. And for those of you that don't know, 30 for 30 is essentially taking 30 minutes every day of dedicated practice at one thing for 30 days without a rest in between those 30 days. And this is backed on the science that frequency is actually better for teaching yourself new skills as opposed to volume. So that is where this came from. And let's get to it, baby. You guys asked for air dribbles. And I figured, you know what? Let's take this a step further. From watching you guys play, it seems to me that the air roll left, air roll right is the new premier way to air dribble. Super efficient because you can change your pitch at the blink of an eye. So I asked Raid for some advice and he did a live stream on Twitch for me to show me how to do it. I also spoke to Max and he even made a video for me to watch of him doing a rings map. But what was interesting is the takeaway from that was, I can't tell you how to do it. You just got to figure it out. It's all muscle memory. So I went onto the lava rings map on my own stream and I gave it a go. I just went for it doing different inputs, trying to get a feel with it. And I got stuck on the first bit, which is basically a straight line for ages. And I spent the whole half hour just trying to do these rings. And I sucked. The next day, I was feeling a bit pessimistic. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I, I can't even change where I'm heading. Like, nothing's changing. The next day, though, all of a sudden, I felt like a different player. I could turn the car. I could move the car in the air while I was continually holding down air or left. And then after four days, I was able to complete DMC's ring map. It took a while, okay? It took over 19 minutes. Here's the end of it here. This is the exact run. If you asked me before this if I ever figured I could do this, I would have been like, no, not a chance in hell would I ever be able to air roll all the way around the map. But then by day five, I was able to complete the map using air roll with very few mistakes. Now, one thing I did know is my movement wasn't as efficient as it could be. There were still more risks I needed to take to learn the movements to get sharper turns. But overall, I was extremely happy that I was able to go from not being able to air roll left at all to now being able to complete a map within four to five days. I think it was four or five days in a fraction of the time. And here it is. This is the run that did it. And it was so good just having that ability to change direction. That was the biggest thing for me. And to not keep falling off the map. As we head to the end of the run, there was literally one mistake the whole run. The only thing I will say is I still am aware my movements aren't as clean and as crisp as they should be. And I'm still a little bit slow at changing directions at this time. We finished it in 3 minutes 16. And I decided to continue this as part of my warm-up heading into week 2. New week, new map, new sticking point. This time I was doing DMC rings number three and I could not get past these yellow rings. They were so tricky. I spent days here, literally about four days in a row, just struggling to get past it. And I really didn't think I could get past these, but I knew that if I got past these, the rest of the map would be easy. I'd be able to smash it. I had a good feeling inside my gut. I continued going day after day for the whole 30 minutes on this exact same part. Now what I liked about this is it forced me to learn the different ways to use the inputs to make the movements more refined because at the end of the day, the reason I'm learning this is to get better at the game of Rocket League so I can change direction quicker, so I can be more accurate in the air, so I can air dribble better. So I need to be pushed out of my comfort zone. And I couldn't believe it. I finally did it and I knew it's easy from here on out, baby. Oh, what the heck is that? You gotta be kidding me. Yes, that's right, another sticking point, and on day 14, the second week of doing this, I couldn't believe I actually managed to break through and get it done with a few bumps along the way. But man, oh man, from not being able to do an air roll to in two weeks being able to complete that bit, and not only that bit, I actually managed to go and complete the whole map. It took me a long time, yeah, but I did it. I finally did it. I know I can do it. And it's just about getting better. Week two is over. 
and I can finally complete DMC Rings 3 with full aero left. It's time to see what we can do in game while still getting better at these ring maps. Week 3 and here we go finally completing these maps now that I never figured I'd ever be able to do and I'm doing them every time quicker and quicker. This week I also decided to add in new maps and see how I would do. And I was so surprised at how easy I found it now. This became what I always wanted it to become. Something I could do to relax. Something I could put some music on and chill out for half an hour. Like I used to do when I was younger. Playing conk maps on Team Fortress Classic. The, that being said, I've scored a few more good goals in games. I'm feeling much more confident in the air. I'm going for balls I never would have gone for before. And I'm scoring them. And I'm hitting double touches. And a lot of the time, in all honesty, I'm not even using the air roll. But the fact of being in the air so long it's starting to become a habit and going up in the air is not so scary anymore however i would like to be able to score a really sick goal in the last week and my challenge is to try and complete that rings map rings map dmc rings map free in about seven minutes and i really want to complete left's lava rings map i know it's insane i know it's difficult and i know i couldn't even get past the first level when i first started but that is my goal for this week let's see if it gets conquered so here we go, the last ever session, and man, I uh, trained 30 minutes every day for 30 days. Was it going to pay off? I honestly felt like it already had at this point. And I'm going to speed through this as we go, but my god, I couldn't believe how much more fluid I could do this map. I remember the first time I ever went on this map, and there was no way. I couldn't even get past the one where you drop down. I think it's literally the second jump. I thought, how am I going to do this? And to go from that, to be able to just fly through the map. Did I get my goal? I wanted to do it within 7 minutes. And look at this, guys. 6 minutes 38. I was so, so happy. But it's time for the one that's been on my mind since day one. Lava Rings. I know this is one of the bigger maps, considered by many as one of the more difficult maps. And straight out the gate, I wasn't too bothered. I felt confident. My movements felt good. Obviously, I know I'm not taking the most amazing lines, but you know what? It's working. And this is a lot, lot better than the first time I ever did this, where I couldn't get past the first level for like six, seven minutes. But it was all about this bit for me. This one here. This was where I struggled before. This was the one that made me quit. That made me stop my session after the 30 minutes. I was just stuck there for ages. And now, first attempt gliding around made a few mistakes with the uh, the inputs there but nonetheless managed to recover and then it was just going from one to another this map is so insanely hard and it's something that i've seen people do and i've always seen people do the freestyle rings i've always been like that's so cool i'd love to be able to do that but there's no way i'll ever be able to do that and now i'm at a stage where I can sort of do it, not not to that level, but I can sort of do it, and it's it's really cool, it's really fun, and it's just another way of playing the game. You know, if rank's not doing well, uh, maybe you're a bit tilted, go play some rings maps, chill out and have some fun. But I noticed really quickly on these just how hard it was becoming. I hadn't played this map since the first attempt, so I was doing this completely blind. I had no clue where I was going, and the camera angles and any of that, it was so difficult. And you can see how long the each little level goes on for. I, I was starting to get really nervous. My hands were sweating loud. And there we go. I just incurred my first death. The hardest bit was trying to keep your head in the game. Trying to relax whilst doing this with your hands sweating. With the concentration, these levels are so long. You could do all of this and then make a mistake at the end because I noticed some of the uh, rings were a bit buggy. If you hit them, like even if you hit them facing forward, going forward, it would just reset you. And sometimes it wouldn't and sometimes it would. It seemed completely random. So we're getting through level 13, 16 minutes, 9 deaths. So getting more deaths as we go. And I remember this one was absolutely insane. You had to dodge the obstacles. It was so crazy. And we're approaching the 22 minute mark. As we head into level 15. 
Level 15. Again, look, you have to stay so close to the lava. I was trying to maintain control, and at this point, fatigue had set in. Fatigue had set in. My confidence was gone. I had 27 deaths, as you could see. This took me ages. And I started to think, I don't think I can do this. I'm cramping up. My hands are cramping. The rings are now getting smaller. And I kept pushing and kept pushing. And I thought, maybe I could do it. I must be close. I had no idea how many. I still don't know how many levels there are. Had no clue. 33 deaths at this point. And it reset me. And you know what? After 45 deaths, 38 minutes of trying, I decided to throw in the towel because I wasn't getting any better. I was getting worse. At the end of the four weeks, I've got to say, even though I accomplished one of my goals, I didn't get a nice shot in-game, but I'm definitely getting better at scoring goals in the air. But from an improvement standpoint, I am so, so happy. I never thought I could do this. And by learning it, it gives me the ability, hopefully, as I get better and better at it, to be able to teach it, to be able to help people also learn this skill, because I know people want to be able to do it. So thank you very much for following this journey along. Comment below what you want to see next. And we'll give it a bash. Thank you so much for watching. As always, have a nice life, look after yourself, and peace. Peace.